All right, Shalom. This is the brother Ba'ar from the GMS Salt, GMS West Palm Camp. And first, I would like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shah, Bahasham, Raka, Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. I'd like to give salutations to the Akim preaching the gospel across the four corners of the earth in truth and in sincerity. Shalom, Akim. Shalom. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video, you know, a quick lesson, you know, just going on, just going, uh, going off of a precept that was on my mind earlier this week. And um, I'm going to start off with it. All right. And this is uh, Isaiah 65 verse 12 but i'll start at 11 okay and it says but ye are they that forsake the lord that forget my holy mountain that prepare a table for that troop and that furnish the drink that furnish the drink offering unto that number therefore will i number you to the sword and ye shall all bow down to the slaughter because when I called, ye did not answer, and when I spake, ye did not hear, but did evil before mine eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. Okay, and and I wanted to bring that out because the the precept, uh, we are led as sheep to the slaughter, man. Two thirds of our people, the unfaithful of our people, are being led to the slaughter. It may seem as if all of us are being led to the slaughter, okay? But the elect is going to be delivered from that slaughter, okay? Through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem Shah, through the blood of Yahweh Shah, the elect is going to be delivered from that slaughter, okay? But living in the time that, that we're living in, you know, and, and seeing all these prophecies come to pass, seeing a lot of the... uh. Uh, 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 things that Esau, all, a lot of the decrees that Esau is implementing, okay, and, and, and uh, things that he's bringing into law that are coming to pass, you know, a lot of these laws are being passed uh, overnight, a lot of these laws are being passed when we're distracted by other things, okay, so Esau is pretty much, he's pretty much just about established martial law. Okay, because he he's locked down cities here in Babylon. Okay, and the next thing that we're hearing right now is there there's a possibility that Esau could be uh, he could force the people he could force vaccination. Okay, and you do you believe a, a, a lot of people are bucking up to it? You'll have a few people here and there, but the most most of most of the people most of the world is going to take that vaccine. OK, because most people want to be comfortable. You know, I was just thinking that on my way back to the crib, you know, the flesh always wants to be comfortable. You know, this is why we have to we have to remain in the spirit and be in the, in the spirit of the Lord at this at this time, most importantly. OK, and pray to the Lord that we're not delivered into the hands of our enemies, man. You know, pray to the Lord that we have uh, that he can that he'll strengthen us and deliver deliver us from the time of temptation, man. The hour of temptation. Okay, because these are the things that we're getting ready to experience, man. But let me bring out that precept one more time. This is Isaiah 65. Okay, verse 12. It says, Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, ye did not answer. When I spake, ye did not hear, but did evil before mine eyes, and did choose that wherein I delighted not. So two-thirds of our people... OK, the unbelievers of our people, the unfaithful, they chose not to return unto the Lord. They did what the Most High delighted not, man. They did the things that the Most High didn't delight in. OK, but two thirds of our people, they don't care. OK, they're going to receive their reward. They're going to receive the reward of their hands right along with the other nations. OK, the unfaithful of our people are going to die the death of the un of the uncircumcised. OK, because it during this during this little tribulation that we're going through right now. Okay, this little tribulation we we have it. We just we are we just hit the the the, the tip of the iceberg. Okay, we haven't pretty much experienced anything yet. Okay, the Lord is about to turn this thing all the way up. Okay, because once Esau finally announces that okay, there's gonna be an economic collapse, all hell is gonna break loose. Okay, 
and, and, and maybe before or at the same time, a lot of these people are going to start taking these vaccines, man. OK, and Esau is going to start enforcing people to take these vaccines or they're going to start forcing the people to take vaccines. OK, and a lot of these, a lot of people are going to have to make a decision, man. OK, but the majority of the world and the majority of our people are going to take those vaccines because they want to be comfortable. OK, they because what Esau likes to do is what he's going to do is he's going to pull back. OK, a lot of the things that a lot of the essential things that we need from day to day like water, okay, and food. He's going to cut those things off because basically those things are the essential things that you need for life. And he's going to cut those things off. All those little dainty things that you are enjoying from day to day, okay, your coffee, your snacks, you know, uh, uh, playing video games and going out to the clubs, all those things. Two-thirds of our people are going to run back. They're going to want those things, man, okay? they, they Because they haven't, uh, uh, they haven't, they, they haven't repented. Okay. They haven't built themselves up for this day. Okay. They're going to get caught slacking, man. But the two thirds of our people, they're asleep. Okay. They're in a deep sleep, man. Okay. They're, they're in darkness, man. They have no idea what is going on. They have no idea that the things that are happening are, are, are happening are scriptural. OK, you'll have certain Jake's here and there who may know, OK, what's going on according to the Bible. But 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 for the majority of our people and the majority of the people in the world, they have no idea. OK, that the things that are happening now are in the scriptures. OK, because they hear the prophets, but they're not listening. OK, the scripture says before a uh, uh, pride uh, cometh before uh, uh, destruction and haughtiness before a great fall. And that's two thirds of our people primarily. Okay, and that's and then also that's speaking for uh, 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 Esau. Okay, because he's super prideful, man. He really thinks that he he really thinks that he he's gonna get this stuff together. Okay, he really think that he he really thinks that he's gonna go through with his uh, 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 new world order. Okay, he really think he's gonna be able to control the destruction that the Most High put it in his spirit to put out there to let loose on the people. OK, but the scripture says in Luke, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Luke three, if I'm not mistaken, it says uh, the fan of the hand is the fan is in the hand of the most high man. All right. So this place is going to get spiritually lit up, man. OK, it's going to be violence everywhere. OK, and Esau think he's going to be able to control it, but it's going to be the most high that's fanning the flames, man. OK, so Esau's Esau's enterprise will not prosper, man. OK. But it's just a sad thing to see our people, man, being uh, led as sheep to the slaughter. OK, panicking, panicking in these stores, not knowing anything. OK, not knowing what's going on, having no faith, having no foundation, man. OK, they think that they think that they believe in the most high. They think the most high is going to deliver them from from the hour of temptation. But they, they, they've done nothing to please the most high. And they think the most high is just going to step in and be there for them. That's not how the, that's not how the Lord works. OK, but also let me uh, let me bring out a few precepts. I can select you. Let me let me go to uh, uh, Isaiah 30. All right. And Isaiah 30. Select you. Isaiah 30 says. Uh, <clears throat> Isaiah 30 and one. Uh, con Isaiah 30 and one. And it says, woe to the rebellious children saith the Lord that take counsel but not of me and that cover with a covering but not with my spirit that they may add sin unto sin and that's two thirds of our people for real man okay they've taken on the way of Christianity the most high did not create Christianity for us to 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 follow okay he gave us his law statutes and commandments to keep okay he made a covenant with us OK, but two thirds of our people have taken on the ways of uh, the other nations, but in primary, but primarily and in particular, the, the so-called uh, uh, white man, Esau. OK, our people have taken on his ways. Our people have trusted in him. OK, and it, sa and it says it. It says, woe unto it says, woe to the to the rebellious children, saith the Lord that take counsel. OK, but not of me. They take counsel of Esau. OK, whenever something happens, whenever issues start to happen and start to arise, who do they run to? OK, they run to Esau. 
Okay, they turn on their TV, they listen to the news, and they want to know what's going on. Okay? They don't run to the most high. Okay? They don't they don't get on their knees and pray. They don't search the scriptures and look for answers. Okay? They take counsel of their enemies, man. And he, do you true and, and for for our people they're 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 completely lost and completely sleep and completely in darkness to think that their enemies is gonna tell them the truth. They're your enemies. The Lord said that he was gonna give us into the hands of our enemies. Okay, these people do not want you to exist. But the unfaithful of our people, they don't they can't see it. Okay, because they fall for the the nice guy act and the smile. And and the suit and tie look, they fall for that. With the with the with the with the whole proper speech, they fall for the the smooth words, okay. But we but uh, those of us who are in this truth, we're not gonna fall for all those things, okay. We 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 follow thus saith the Lord, and whatever the Lord says, okay. Because we're because it, it, now that the skirt has been lifted up on Babylon, we're starting to see that not starting to see because we've been noticing it, you know for years you know through the spirit but you know in adversity these people are not calling upon the lord okay they're not bringing out scriptures showing that they believe in the most high okay and, to, and the unfaithful of our, of our people are not rec they're not recognizing that okay they're not recognizing that these people don't believe in the most high period they want you just to take these vaccines trust in me i got the answers i can help you i love you guys and that's complete lies man all right, and let me let me bring it out again. Uh, Isaiah thirty verse one. I start at uh, verse one. It says, "Woe to the rebellious children," saith the Lord, "that take counsel, but not of me, and that covering what they covering, but not of my spirit." And they don't take the, the cover. They don't take the covering of the spirit of the Lord. They don't. That's why we encourage in this truth that you put on the spirit of Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Okay, so you can so you can have that light. Okay, and, and the Lord is gonna guide you through the times that we're that we're that we're that we're in. Okay, I can't even say that uh, uh, when Jacob's trouble comes, because I believe we are in Jacob's trouble. Okay, it just hasn't fully uh, Esau hasn't really fully shown his horns, but he's going to. Okay, because he sees the signs. Okay, the Most High is showing his power. The Most High is showing himself. Okay, he's showing the angels a lot more. Okay, just uh, last week or a couple weeks ago, uh, they saw a large chariot on one of their on one of their radars. Okay, that was uh, uh, extremely larger than the Earth. Okay, and Esau is panicking. The Most High is going to cause Esau to uh, to make hasty moves. Okay, to make moves that aren't really completely uh, uh, planned out correctly. Okay, the Most High is going to make the Most High said it in the scriptures, man, that he put uh, he put his foot in the slippery place, man. All right. So Esau is not going to prosper, but he's going to take down a lot of people on his way down. OK, and it's just two thirds of our people. They can't see it. All right. And it says and it says uh, that they may add sin to sin. Oh, the law has been done away with that walk that walk to go that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my at my mouth. OK, to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh. And to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Salakia, let me read that again. Verse 2, that walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth to strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Okay, and, and our people trust in, in, the, in the shadow of Egypt. They run to Pharaoh for answers. Okay, every time uh, 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 the president is on the news every time he does some kind of like a uh, uh, um, you know live uh, uh, speech or whatever everybody's glued to the tube but primarily two-thirds of our people now they the media has made uh, 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 Donald Trump look like some kind of character some kind of like cartoon character but he's interesting to watch okay even though he may they may portray him to be the villain on TV Okay, but our people still tune in to listen to what he got to say. Okay, he's just a certain character that they can go out into the workplace and talk about him. But they're listening to everything that he's saying and they're taking heed to everything that he's saying. Because they look at him as their leader. Okay, that that even happened during the time of uh, Yahweh Shah. When he was uh, uh, during the time of the Roman Empire. 
Okay? They were saying how they want Caesar, man. Okay? Two-thirds of our people want Caesar as their power. They want Caesar to lead them. Okay? And, we're, and those are the same people coming back, man. That time period, the souls that were living at that time most likely are those same souls today, man. We are living in that same time today, man. And a lot of our people put their trust in, in, in Egypt. Okay? And they put their trust in Pharaoh, man. Okay? If Pharaoh say everything is okay, then Jake think everything is cool. Or everything is going to get better. Because that's what Pharaoh tells his men to say. Oh, everything is cool. Everything, don't worry about it. The economy is on the up and up. Everything's going to gonna be good. We're going to send you the stimulus package. You're going to be great. Don't worry about it. And our people believe it. Our people, our people eat it up. Matter of fact, they've already spent the money already in their mind. Okay? Because the, the, that's Esau is giving them a gift, man. And a gift destroyed the heart, man. Okay? That's going to that's gonna temporarily uh, 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 distract them for what's really coming. Okay? They thinking everything is good. We got this $1,200. We good. You know what I'm saying? Jake is going to go to the bars. They're going to go to the, uh, uh, the liquor store, get liquor. The women are going to go get their hair done and nails done. All that kind of stuff. All that kind of foolishness and folly while Esau getting ready to destroy you. Okay, it, like sheep led to the slaughter, man. Okay, and and uh, and it says, therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, man, and the trust of the shadow of Egypt your confusion, man. It says, therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame, man. Okay, and the trust, because a lot of people gonna trust in Pharaoh, man. A lot of people gonna trust in Esau, man. Okay, but the Most High still gonna do what He's gonna do. Okay, and continuously bring down Esau. Okay, and a lot of our people are going to be uh, uh, ashamed, man. All right? It says, therefore shall the strength of Pharaoh be ashamed, okay? Because they really put their trust in Egypt. They really put their trust in Babylon, thinking that this place is going to continue and all the things that they've worked hard for are going to be there. No. Okay? Esau is just saying these things to put you people back to sleep, man. Okay? But behind closed doors, behind the curtains, man, he's getting ready to do a great slaughter, man. And that's and he's doing the will of the Lord. He don't know that he's doing the will of the Lord, but the Most High put it in his spirit to do these things. Okay, that's why when you watch his movies, okay, when you when you when you when you see, you you start to see that there's a cap to his understanding. Okay, there's a cap to his knowledge. Okay, he does, he's not as wise as he as he portrays himself to be. Okay, he can't he can't. He can't really foresee the future past living in space and all these kind of things. Cause this is this is where he uh, imagines on going. OK, but there's nothing out else outside of that. OK, you know, but that's just Esau trying to be the most high. And that's Esau. That's uh, also Esau uh, 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 sending sending forth his prophets whenever they put stuff like that in the movies, because that's how they want the world to be. That just shows, that just proves you proves to you more that they're not the people of the Most High. And they do not believe in the Most High. Okay? They believe that, they, they believe they can get things done by the strength of their hands, man. Okay? They boast themselves in their, in their spirit. By the strength of my hands have I got this done. I did it. We the people. Okay? They don't believe in the Most High. Alright? So let me continue. And it says, uh, yeah. And it says, and trust in the shadow of Egypt, and the trust in the shadow of Egypt, your confusion, okay? And our people, man, they're full of confusion, man. But the scripture also says, man, let me let me bring this out. You know, I didn't I didn't really want to make the uh the video too long, but I was just thinking about that precept, man, on my way. You know, it's a simple one. It's an oldie but goodie always. But uh yeah, this is a uh, Sirach 12. Okay, yeah. Sirach 12, verse 8. You know, because our people are going to be led like sheep to the slaughter, man. They have no idea of what's getting ready to come. But those of us who are in the spirit of the Lord, the Lord has blessed us with foresight. Okay? And he showed us what's coming. The unfaithful of our people, they don't know what's coming. Okay, because they weren't prepared. They didn't prepare themselves for this day. Because they had to set in their mind that the, the, the day of the Lord is, is, is years from now. It's far from now. Nah, the time is now. The time has always been now. 
If you read the scriptures, then you would understand that. All right. But this is a. Uh, this was on my mind on my way home to the crib. And it says, uh, Sirach 12, verse 8. It says, a friend cannot be known in prosperity. And an enemy cannot be hidden in adversity. Okay? An enemy cannot be known and it cannot be hidden in adversity. Okay? By the time Jake finds out, two-thirds of Jake find out that Esau is their enemy, it's going to be too late. Okay, because Esau, the devil, is going to come down with great wrath, man, knowing that he have but a short time, man. Okay, when you when you had it, when the Lord called you early, okay, and you didn't repent and you chose not to 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 serve the Lord and receive his wisdom, knowledge and understanding. Okay, you're going to get caught off guard. Well, two thirds of while well, the one third are going to be prepared for this time because they've heard the word of the most high. Okay, and they repented and they gotten themselves together. Okay. But two-thirds of our people, they weren't able to f see what's coming. Okay? They're gonna, a lot of them are going to take this vaccine. A lot of them are going to run back to Egypt. Okay? And it says, a friend cannot be known in prosperity, and an enemy cannot be hid in adversity. In the prosperity of a man, enemies will be grieved. But in his adversity, even a friend will depart. Okay? Never trust thine enemy. For like as iron rusteth, so is his wickedness, man. Though he humble himself and go crouching, yet take good heed and beware of him. Okay, and thou shalt be unto him as if thou hadst wiped a looking glass. And thou shalt know that his rust hath not been altogether wiped away, man. Okay, so Esau is going to show his horns, man. Okay, he's going to show his horns. He's going to show the whole world that he's the devil. Okay, that he's the wicked that the Bible speaks of. Job 9, verse 24. The earth was given into the hands of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? That's the question the Lord is asking, man. If not, where or, or, or who is he, man? Who is the devil on the earth? Who is the wicked that, that controls the earth, man? Who? We all know. We don't need to. We don't even need to bring it up. We all know who controls the earth. We all know who created the banking system. Okay? We all know who everybody else is uh, uh, mimicking on this earth. Okay? As far as uh, the power structure. We all know. There's no more to be said. If you've been watching our videos, if you've been listening to the prophets, then you should already know. Okay? E even if you haven't been watching our videos and you've heard prophets, and you've, but you're a knowledgeable person, then you would know. Okay? But, uh, come on, man. You know, the scripture says, never trust thine enemy, man. Never trust thine enemy, man. Actually, all right, I'm just going to bring out one more. I'm going to go back to Isaiah, you know, just to bring it out. You know, I got it a part of my list. Actually, you know, I may not. I may just hold off on that. But, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I just bring it out, you know, uh, Isaiah 31, woe unto them that go down to Egypt for help and stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen because they are very strong, but they look not unto the Holy one of Yasha Allah, neither seek the Lord. And this is exactly the time that we're living in, man. Okay. The pre the word of the Lord is, is, a, is man is incredible because we're living in this time today. A lot of our people is not seeking the most high in this time. Okay? <laughs> they're they're going to... They're, they're, their sheep led to the slaughter for real. But the most high has a slaughter prepared for them. Okay? He has the iron weapon prepared for them. The ultimate slaughter. The ultimate uh, 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 end game. Okay? But Salakia, let me actually go to uh, uh, Psalms. Alright? But the scripture says, never trust thine enemy, man. Never trust thine enemy. And that's the one thing that we have in our mind, those of us who are in this truth. And we wholeheartedly keep that. Okay? Because we have we've we've had, had time to observe Esau, man, and observed his wickedness and his de deceivableness. Okay, while two thirds of our people, they haven't had time to observe things in the spirit. They've been too caught up in this world. Okay? And uh this is Psalms fifty eight. It says, the wicked are estranged from the womb. 
They go astray as soon as they be born speaking lies. Their poison is like the poison of a serpent, man. They are like the deaf adder that stoppeth her ear, man. It says their poison their poison is like the poison of a serpent, man. When they speak, okay, their words is smooth, man. Okay? Actually, if I can find that real quick, uh, I should have had that on deck, but, you know, Salaki, you know. His words, man, was smoother than oil, man, softer than butter, or smoother, softer than oil and smoother than butter, if I'm not mistaken. You know, I don't, I don't mean to butcher it up, I can. But, uh, y'all get what I'm saying. You know, because they're, they're very smooth talking, man. Okay? They make you, they make, they'll make you believe that everything is okay when things are not okay. Okay? But behind closed doors, man, they have a slaughter prepared for you, man. They'll say, "Hey, we'll have we have the uh, the uh, the cure to this disease." They created the disease, but then they com they say that they have a cure for you, okay? But people are not questioning, okay? The 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 masses of the people are not questioning what's in those vaccines, okay? Because during the time of desperation, a lot of these people they're gonna take those vaccines. When their jobs say, "Hey, you can't come back to work unless you show me paperwork that you've taken this vaccine," a lot of people are gonna take that vaccine. OK, because they want their life to continue as it is. OK, they want to go back to work and they want to make them dollars. OK, and, and it'll be it'll be funny, man, if everybody start taking these vaccines and then simultaneously the economic system collapse and that dollar means nothing. Now, now you're sitting in your home. OK, hungry. OK, and thirsty. OK, and pestilence is is feeding off of you <laughs> and that money means nothing. And that and that vaccine is just dwelling in your system. OK, keeping you sick. OK, bringing on a whole nother pestilence. OK, man, who knows what's in that vaccine? Who knows what that will do to you in the long term? Because I believe that as soon as you get that vaccine, you're not going to be immediately affected by it. You may start feeling better. OK, but then what comes after that a month later? OK, because those cells take a long time to multiply, which they could multiply fast. But I'm pretty sure Esau is more uh, uh, deceivable. He's more, uh, uh, he's he's slicker than that. Okay? Esau, we notice through the spirit that he's very patient. Okay? So, Salakia. And uh, actually, let me go to Psalms 140. Alright? Psalms 140. Uh, yeah, 140. You know, I don't have too much time, but Psalms 140 was heavy, if I'm not mistaken. All right. Psalms 140. Uh, Con. Con, I start at the top. Psalms 140. It says, Deliver me, O Lord, from the evil man. Preserve me from the violent man which imagine mischiefs in their heart continually are they gathered together for war okay they have sharpened their tongues like a serpent adder's poison is under their lips man okay one well, to them that decree unrighteous decrees man okay that's esau man their tongue man is sharpened man okay they are very slick in what they say man all right so you can't trust esau man and because they're devising wars against us man but they're, they're, they're devising different kinds of wars. Wars that we're not able to see and are aware of. Okay? And it says... And it says, They have sharpened their tongues like a serpent. Adder's poison is under their lips. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent man who have proposed to overthrow my goings. Okay? The proud have hid a snare for me and cords. They have spread a net by the wayside. They have set grinds for me. Salah. Okay? So we understand that the wicked is preparing, okay, to get rid of a lot of us, man. Okay? And they, they, because they know that the blessing is coming to us. They know the Lord is coming back to, re to redeem his elect and to, and to rule the whole earth. Okay? And, 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 and establish an everlasting kingdom, man. Okay? I wanted to make this video short, man. You know, uh, hopefully you brothers were edified, man. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Raka.
Kodash. I like to give double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. I like to give salutations to the Aki and preaching the gospel across the four corners of the earth in truth and in sincerity. Shalom, Akiyam. Shalom.